This video will cover the creation of transactions from bank feeds. If you look at transactions that would typically appear, it would include bank charges, interest for instance. Now the only time that you would normally create these would be at the time of reconciliation, but you don't want to keep manually doing these. For this we can now set up a create rule with an intact, and that's linked to a template that will allow the creation and automated creation of these transactions. And you can see on this slide, for instance, you know, we give it a name, that's the journal type that we'll use, and we can decide if it's being generated in a posted or draft status, and then that physical template, which account to use, which department location and descriptions to use, and then we can see what happens to that transaction afterwards. So if we go into Intact, we'll have a look at how that works. So firstly, I'll show you a bit of the bank reconciliation. So we go into our bank reconciliation, We'll select our bank, and if we open this up, generally it'll still do your automatic matching based on the rules that you've set up. But in this case, if I look at my unmatched bank transactions, there's three of them, and one of them on the payment side include bank fees. Now, ideally, what we want to do is, is set up a rule to create this for you in an automatic way. To do this, we have some of these rules that we can set up, and I've already created one. And I'll quickly show you what that looks like. So in this instance, the rule type is create rule. And we filter our transactions. So we look at our bank transactions for specific fields. Description, posting date. On the description, it contains the word bank. And my posting date is greater than you know, 1st of December 19. And then we'll create a journal entry from this. And what does that need to look like? So we've got that transaction template. So we go into our bank charges template there. And we can see it'll have a, a description up there. My posting state in this instance is, is a draft. But remember, we can do it as a posted status as well. It's going to my bank charges account, sales department, my number 100 location, and it's got a, a bank charges as the line description as well. Now, to allow that to, to automatically happen, I'm going to link it to my rule set that's assigned to my bank that I'm reconciling. So in this instance, I'm going to select my rule, and that's going to be that bank charges one that I just showed you. So we'll save that. Now, typically when we go into our reconciliation, that's when it will generate that journal entry for us. So just show you where it's going to appear. So if we look at our general journals, my last entry there is 1055, and we'll come back to this one just to see if something is gets created. So if I go into my reconciliation again, we'll open it up, select that same bank account, we'll do the continue, and at this stage it does the matching, and if you've got any rules to create transactions, you can see I only have two unmatched transactions now. If I go back into the bank unmatched transactions, you can see that bank charge is not there anymore. To have a quick look, you can see you know, your normal match, partially matched, or draft matched. And if I look at that draft match and I apply the filter, I can see there's the bank charges for 1,200. That's been matched to a draft, so a draft entry. If I go back to my GL, I'll just refresh this screen so the new journal can show. And you can see there's a new journal for bank fees, 1026. Going down. That's the entry based on that template that I showed you. So location, department, populated, going to bank charges. It'll use your bank account that you're busy reconciling. And then the template brings in the contract entry. So it's an easy way to generate these transactions from bank feeds in an automated way. Thanks for watching.